let's go we're going to tell you all about you need to know you can see the front design has a little bit of porsche panamera there will be some audi rs6 in the rear soon going to tell you all about it very characteristically is that this headlamp unit here from the daytime running light part always stands up on top has a three-dimensional shape overall a very angular and european design and this color here this very bright baby blue is called electric blue the main headlamp unit here is in the lower part turning indicators in the front you can see they replaced the daytime running light so very spectacular feature has something like animal alike you know like a tiger lion or claw something design what do you think ladies and gentlemen today's big price question is about is there a frunk or not there is one, <laughs> as it should be a small one, but fits for a charging cable or something. The length at 4 meters 95 or 195 inches, the Volkswagen ID7 would be another competitor, which is more in competition price-wise as sedan or later also a shooting brake. But then again, the ID7 has a smaller battery. This battery here is way bigger. Soon more to that. Wheels, 21 or optional 22 inch wheels. The bigger one here, Spire design, dual tone scheme. Overall, I think a very beautiful design, contrasting roof and a top part. And this shooting brake form also has a very good CD value still, 0.23. So we can expect a great wind efficiency. We'll also do a driving and range efficiency test today. Rear design, we can see somewhat of a mix between a sedan and the wagon and estate. So a very impressive piece here, I think, with standing out three-dimensional tail lamps. You either get a rear-wheel drive version as entry or an all-wheel drive then with two electric motors, one per axle. The acceleration figure is then either around seven seconds for the entry version or under four seconds for the all-wheel drive version. Top speed, 200 kilometers an hour or 125 miles an hour. Light signature, also here with this really modern design, individual element that looks quite cool, actually. Turning indicators at the rear, very well visible here, wide enough, and also with this cascading effect. So battery size is 100 kilowatt hours, around a little bit buffer in there, and a realistic real-world range somewhat 500 kilometers or 320 miles can be better in summertime can be maybe worse in winter time or when you speed it up really high speed recharging 22 kilowatt a ac is standard 200 kilowatt dc charging the quick charging and that gives you then 10 to 80 percent state of charge in around 30 minutes they offer smartphone or key card access but i prefer to have a real key fob it's not a classic one more this squircle design i would say or shape and then you can see here the door handles flush design go in and out but they do give you some haptic feedback then here we know them from the range rover sport for range rover for example then door closing sound is considering it's a frameless door actually still quite decent then inside high grade leatherette here in the blue beige scheme i think it's a beautiful color combination indeed door handles audi-esque i would say but really good for the build quality galvanized buttons here for the inside window levers so it's a really high build quality yamaha sound system steering wheel and a sporty design and both the steering and the seats they have the philosophy to go animal free and sustainable as for the materials as it should be in 2023 for not only electric vehicles actually just here in this very early production version the steering wheel is still animal skin but they are changing that seating comfort it's really good good shoulder support and the microfiber surface here on the inside is really soft and nice very high quality feeling if you want a little bit more subtle color there's also a black microfiber seat available and also this color scheme so you don't have to go for that one but i think to me it's a great choice color wise indeed 189 or 6 for 2 and that leaves still plenty of headroom below this fixed glass roof i'm more a fan of roof you can actually open or then just you know a closed roof because yeah they all have this you know heat protection but it's still will get somewhat hotter. Clearly, this is inspired by Tesla, this 15.4 inch screen. Neo has already done that, that they picked a, like almost the same layout. Now also Zeker does it. It is because Tesla said 
the new standard there in a way. However, what I criticize with Tesla, Neo, and also with Zika is, in a way, when you're stationary, it's okay. But to control something like that while driving, it's just too complicated. When they would use the large screen and then make everything larger, then it would be easier. The temperature control always in the lower part here. Then you have seat cooling here. So a microfiber seat with seat cooling. Wow, that's the best as for the climate comfort you could imagine. And also seat heating, but they don't work on a parallel basis. Well, they have one alternative and that is in the head-up display. So I, at the moment I'm sliding on the steering wheel, slide right, and then I can also control the vent strength. And here like recent calls and so on yeah we know a similar solution from tesla and if you have the optional air suspension in this higher trim or is included in the higher trim you can also set the height here but it's also doing that automatically and they will also offer apple carplay and android auto yeah you won't get that one in the tesla however we cannot show that to you yet the software that is not up to date yet we can just take their word for that at this moment and then you can have some more apps. For example, you also have the camera here internally where you can take selfies. Yeah, in China, that's that's a big thing. I'm not sure if European or American customers would actually do that. Um, yeah, and then we can also switch it around like on the iPhone and uh, take a view to the front for some landscape shots. You have some hotkeys in the lower area here, for example, also to open the trunk from the inside. And then this one here on the right is for the glove box. Premium design also for the lower middle console. Here, this microfiber service, and then there's inductive charging pad. Shifting lever goes like this drive reverse, and this metal knurled volume knob also with some clicking sound. That's nice. However, here a little bit loose. Maybe they can still fix that for the final version. Then we have adaptive cup holders, nicely integrated, and this premium design of this split opener with more space and USB-C charging. And there's massively more storage underneath the middle console. Very interesting, the door closing sound in the rear doors is better than the one in the front doors. Hmm. And also at the rear doors, soft touch materials and there's really like a background behind it. You can deeply touch it, that's what I said. Yeah, microfiber so high class premium as really luxury experience once again also with the door handles has a lot of wow effects definitely then take a look ev architecture that means no middle tunnel using that same color scheme also for the rear seats once again the microfiber on the inside the little red on the outside parts but is there sufficient space when the seat is in the way that I'm driving as a tall driver, a lot of leg room left, that's no problem. Here the seat bench is quite low, you see this angle is maybe not ideal, but when you lean backward, it's actually good comfort. Lower the seat here, the camera can come around, thank you so much. <laughs> so then with 189 or 6 foot 2, there is still some headroom left when I put my spine up, I can still put a hand over my head. So this works, so for 5 tall adults, easy. What about the middle seating here? This also works, gets a little closer here to the headroom, but yeah, it is five tall adult proof, definitely. And once again, the material quality is just astonishing. Here, by the way, you have this strap. You can pull down this one here for adaptive cup holders. Then you have some more space here. Yeah, this is not dampened or something, maybe one thing, but this is properly covered as well. And what's also interesting, you have the controls here and then you can electronically adjust the back part of the rear seats. So maybe when you push this seat here also in the front, can also be more or less used as a luxury chauffeur sedan or chauffeur shooting brake. The rear climate unit gets its own screen. Yeah, that looks a little bit bland or a little bit dull to control. You know, I'm a friend of real climate dials, but yeah, they want to keep it like this clean and modern solution but at least you have all these features like seat heating in the rear for example in this top trim here and you can also change the back part of the seats once again also via the screen and below you can oh nice clicking sounds here you can fold out usb a charging and usb c charging and here it's good that they write it on there 60 watts so this is actually quite cool you can probably charge a macbook with their macbook pro and even don't need the real big plug towing capacity is 1.5 tons for the rear drive version 
two tons for the all-wheel drive version. Let's now check out the trunk or the boot. 540 liters of standard luggage capacity. Here we can see a full set of luggage. You can put this also out and then we can fold the seats easy from here. This and that. And there we go then with the full length indeed. Underneath more space either for a charging cable or you can set this whole thing a level lower and leave it in or take it out entirely for the most trunk height. Acceleration 0 to 70. Plop, that's it. Here now at about 70 kilometers an hour, so like 40 miles an hour. It's a very relaxing ride once again, and even though when you are in a sport mode, suspension is doing a good job, so it definitely delivers a premium driving experience. Here now turning right, still at relatively high speed, accelerating out of the corner, really nice. So it goes very quickly and fast out of the corner, so astonishing how sporty this car feels when you're going out and the steering does have a good feeling so there's no dead zone area also small commands are being transported it's rather set on a comfortable note we'll also soon go through different driving modes throttle let's say accelerator pedal and in this case has a good feeling as well recuperation you can actually set at the moment we just have a slight recuperation it is notable overall a very silent experience so far although it's very windy outside here today in Gothenburg city um, no not Gotham Gothenburg in Sweden but the city driving experience so far is very likable and it indeed gives you a premium feeling there's no rattling there's no annoying noises somewhere and 19 kilowatt hours on 100 kilometers that's more than three miles per kilowatt hour. And that means more than 500 kilometers real world range, clearly more than 300 miles, something you can really work with indeed. For example, also with the competitors of the BWI D7 or the Tesla Model S.